All right, so we are right back into another Dragon Ball Super Card Game video, and this one is another deck profile. I got like two more to go sometime this week, and probably all of the untap, unrestricted tourney um, uh, footage, the stuff that I actually got. Uh, shout out to Judge Manning for winning it all yet again. It was fun stuff, but that should be up as well. Um, but this is a deck that has been kind of talked about here and there. I will let you know that this one and probably the Frieza deck that I'm coming out with as well, uh, both aren't really new concepts, right? So this has been talked through, uh, through like, uh, I believe what I've been told, the 3XG Discord. Uh, I know the Hill Twins have been playing it, or at least a variation of it. Um, I know someone in my Discord had, had posted it, and I was like, you know what, this looks fun. I'm gonna try it out and now this is literally if you if you really look at the deck which we'll look at it right now uh, it is pretty much the blue version of Super Shenron Storm slash just Storm in general this one is different because of all the blue cards and um, the the three main differences which I'll go through all uh, right now or in a little bit are these three cards right here the Scuffle Time Boo and the Scuffle Time Goten which looks like Yamcha I know and as well as Font of Spirit uh, in my previous video of of the um, the opening the mystery Dragon Ball box thing, uh, I did say that I, I took this to a, um, a, a the, the cast journey the level of expo didn't do so well simply because I just I, I didn't have experience with the deck plus uh, it was just too clunky. Um, this is more straightforward. This is more on par and as well as in line for a lot of other decks that are trying to do the same thing. Um, there are two main versions of this deck, I would say. Um, this is the blue yellow version, which just attacks a lot of, a lot of the time and as well as have, uh, it's, it's like a, it's a high risk, high reward type of deck basically. Um, and, and you kind of, you, you kind of have to sequence correctly, just like Super Sen Run. You know, there's not, I, I know, <laughs> oh, I know that you have to, you have to sequence correctly, but just with any other deck, if you learn the curve and you, and you, and you learn, um, your matchups and things like that, you're gonna be perfectly fine. And I think this one is very oppressive in the way of you, you kind of just sit there and then find more and more options. But you know, the other, the other, uh, option is the Vegito package. And that one has, um, the two drop Gogeta or v Goku and Vegeta, which is the same duo, which untaps energy and as well as play the, the three drop uh, Vegito, which is really good. Um, and as well as have the four drop, which is really, really good, by the way, for the uh, how to mastery matchup, because they can you can just uh, return to hand as far as the uh, path to greatness because it ignores barrier for the four drop of Vegito. So if you're interested in seeing that, I do believe a couple people have put up a few deck profiles and, and have been playing that um, if you want something a little bit different. I didn't want to take away from that, so I, I went with this and... Um, you know, like I said, like like usual, I have some gameplay with it as well. Um, and I, I do believe, just shout out to him, Sensu Bean, uh, or Sensu Pop, uh, actually has it. So I'll put the link in the description for that Vegito deck uh, if you haven't seen that already. Now, before I get into everything, definitely like, subscribe if you're new, dislike, comment below if you've been playing this or a ver variation of this. This is my list. This is the one I've been playing for the last week and a half or so. Um, just updated and as well as just uh, a, a little bit more experience and, and be able to talk about it. So uh, if you didn't know, right, if you didn't know what Dende does, if you didn't see my previous deck as far as the, the Boo one, and if you haven't seen AOD, um, he is a Shenron leader. He just can't attack on his backside, which is kind of annoying when you do awaken, but oh well. Uh, he has a burst two leader. You burst two and you get a two Dragon Balls from your deck of life. And then you, when you flip over, you get a desire. So you, there's a lot of desires in this, in the way of Fauna Spirit, Child's Wish, and as well as Personal Ambition. Most of the time, if you do burst out of Solar Bulma, you want to play the Child's Wish. So that way you have an, an extra body on board and as well as a draw and untap too. And another thing is that um, the front side is basically like any other leader. You draw one, you use a blue or black uh, desire for free, and as well as um, the difference in this one, which is me, which is why this is really good in this leader versus like the Great Saiyan Man leader, um, is that you uh, untap two and you draw two, and that can really, 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 really extend some plays. And the reason why we play two Mira. And uh, originally, I, I did have one Mira and one uh, Scientist Fu in the main, but I, I, I think just the, the way that the deck is and the way that 
you have to play the risk reward type type of game of balancing the scale, Mira is probably the best target for that, especially after uh, untapping two and making sure to have at least three energy open because that's kind of where the sweet spot is. And in, in the in the video, you'll see that as well, uh, or in the gameplay that is. So I'm not gonna explain everything, but I will kind of touch on everything as, uh, as well from the main board and as well as the sideboard. The three main cards that you need to know are the Scuffle Time and as well as the Fauna Spirit. Everything else is pretty familiar in, in, in what they want to do and what you've seen before, if you have been paying attention to the meta. So this one is Scuffle Time Boo, which is a barrier card, and then it has an Activate Main in which you place this at the bottom of the deck. If uh, Scuffle Time Goten is in the battle area, you choose one of their opponent's battle cards and turn to your hand. This has been Clutch for any kind of removal. Yes, it does go back to hand, but they have to pay that energy again, or at least choose to see if they want to play it or not. A lot of the time after I return to their hand, a lot of people charge it. I'm like, okay, that works, I guess. Um, and this actually is incredible for the uh, the uh, Green Broly matchup. So if you wanted to see about having a, a, a pretty good counter or at least a, a pretty good um, deck that can answer to green probably I won't say it's a you know it's a complete advantage but this is really good because you can get uh, scuffle time boo out and then attack multiple times and at the end of the turn you just re you, you remove them um, uh, that Broly and if you play multiple boos it, it doesn't say once per turn you can just you know boo them out have a go ten out and then just re uh, keep removing them basically uh, yes you do lose out on the scuffle time go ten in which it says activate main you choose one card from your life you can do this at any time but if um, Boo is in your uh, battle area, you choose this card and one of your energy to switch it to active mode and gains 10k for the race in your turn. No, that doesn't um, gain like critical. If it did gain critical, it would be amazing. But, you know, oh well. <laughs> but uh, again, this is where the risk reward type thing comes in because now when you have this guy and as well as Fauna Spirit, which I'll go into in a second, you'll actually have a lot of different attackers and a lot of different attacks uh, on board. So. You could, um, for, for this guy, you could have Scuffle Time Boo on, on board and then play this guy for two and then untap one after you take a life. But first you attack for 10k and then the second attack is 20k and then you can use a bean to play another Goten or Fauna Spirit or Explorer Boma with the Child's Wish or uh, have a um, an energy ready for something else like a Raging Spirit on Go Gohan, which I'll go into in a second why I have that in there. And the other thing is that uh, Fauna Spirit is a desired card, and if you loot a card, is a blue Shenron, which is why we play Dende. Um, choose one blue thing in your drop area of 15k or less power, and energy cost of two or less, and play it. If you do so, place this card on, uh, place the top card of your deck under the card you play with this skill. So what happens is that um, yes, if they KO the Scuffle Time Goten, it's no big deal. You can just hold a Fauna Spirit, play him out, and then uh, he replaces himself into taking a life and untapping himself and uh, an energy. So the risk reward thing comes in again from taking life and then the top card from the uh, of your deck uh, would you play Fauna Spirit. So the issue with this is that most of the time you really, 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 really want to be awakened first before you do this because if you don't, then you have a risk of, uh, unless you know that they're only in life, which is probably a, a better bet, um, you risk having a Dragon Ball underneath that card, and it, it prevents you unless you combo out with it or KO it somehow, some way. It'll it'll uh, uh, be under that, and you can't awaken. So that's that's a huge thing and a huge detriment as far as that goes. But you just have to play it right. It's just all about learning the learning the deck. Now uh, everything else kind of goes with the card or with the other card. So. Uh, we have Hidden Power because of Mira and because um, uh, 20k into 30 with uh, or Explorer Bumma if you want to you want to boost her up into a double striker. It's pretty damn good. You just kind of want to save at least one of them with Mira uh, and as well as Battering. Those, that's kind of the play and as well as just the standard as far as a finisher uh, with these type of decks. And then we have uh, Boo Boo Volleyball Gotenks which is a target for Fauna Spirit. If you ever have no other play and you have a Fauna Spirit and you, you want to use your uh, leader ability, which I've, I've done multiple times, you can play two Fauna Spirit, get two of these super combos out, um, uh, place it under, uh, place the top deck underneath, uh, underneath the cards, and then activate the ability, draw two, untap two, and then now you have two super combos on board in which you can either attack with them, which you don't want to really do, or you attack with something else and then you you combo with it, now you're netting four cards after that. So it's pretty pretty 
damn good as far as Fauna Spirit, but the main target is going to be Goten, so that way it place, replaces himself and he can continue to attack. The only issue is that if they play Mass Saiyan, uh, Mass Saiyan is a huge counter to this. Um, uh, I would say Baby is a huge counter to this, and I'll, I'll kind of go into that a little bit later, etc., uh, etc. Et huge. Oh, another huge counter is probably going to be the FR Goku, which is why we side out the three drop Vegeta. Again, we'll, we'll get into that. Um, so we have the uh, Raging Spirit on Gohan because of the FR uh, Goku saying that you can't attack two or less. So you get around with that. And as well as Explorer Boma is that, except for that, the Explorer Boma is a little bit harder um, to use because she's only a 10K. So she, she does a lot, but she is a little bit uh, useless on the on their awakened side, especially if they beat up. Um, the other thing is that the the uh, these two cards, or this card itself, yes, you don't, you can't attack with the um, uh, the FR Goku on board, but it doesn't mean you can't use this effect. So you can still use the uh, choose one and untap one energy. You don't have to untap him because he's not attacking, and you can still use the boo to remove. So you know those are those are a, a couple of answers for that. If you really want to be cheeky with it. I mean, you could use God Strike Beerus and then return to my hand, but that's just not going to work out. I don't think that's really going to be a viable option. Um, you could use or tech in one three-star ball in which you can attack something in active mode. I think that's going to be pretty good as far as the variations and as well as the evolution of this deck. But, I mean, that's just another idea. We have Crisis Custard because uh, it, this does lose to Borgo's Whis and a few other cards that are one drops and because Dende is a little susceptible to um, the early first two to three turns, uh, you really want to make sure that you, d you don't come across that. Um, as well as Dark Power Mass in, Black Mass in. There's another one in the side, but if you want to play three because you, you, know, you feel some type of way about those kind of cards, I would not... Uh, fault you for that. <laughs> Mirror again is the finisher. Fauna Spirit I kind of already explained. Sensi Bean is just to send plays and to defend. So this is blue yellow. So it has the sort of uh, flexibility and versatility into uh, attacking a lot and as well as defending a lot. Uh, you only play two Nimbus, which is okay. One of them is in the side. If you want to switch this with uh, Dimension Magic, I wouldn't recommend that because you 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 go lower on the yellow count. You need that for Nimbus and you need that for Battering. So I, I wouldn't really, like I said, I wouldn't really recommend it. Dragon Raider is really good because you can get back to Personal Ambition if you need to end the game with Battering. So you have the, the Personal Ambition to get back, uh, so that way you have a Battering uh, in hand and then swing for, for swing for game, basically. Fighting Nimbus, you really only need to use it once or twice in the game. Um, I, I really don't see an issue with that. And you can always pitch out uh, Explorer Boma if it's in your hand and you haven't played it yet. So that's really good. Personal Ambition, I think this is... Uh, I, was in, I was in between Personal Ambition, but now it's just the flow of the deck. Um, uh, personal Ambition really helps in the way of uh, using a leader ability on top one and draw one, um, using it for free to draw one, and it just kind of cycles through your deck. And I think that's th this is really good just for any Shenron leader, uh, and as well as playing the, the yellow. If you, again, if you didn't know Super Shenron, it's pretty easy to pick up after you, after a while um, and to understand what you're trying to do. But it is hard not dying. <laughs> that's the biggest thing. If Super Shenron got banned, this is what other people would be playing, 100% straight up. Yeah, six balls, uh, no. Or seven balls, you got no uh, one star or anything else like that. I, I don't think that's needed um, because turn two, you can start going off, uh, especially with Child's Wish and as well as Sport Boma and these cards. If you wanted to be a little cheeky with it again, uh, you can add a Super Shenron uh, or Super Dragon Ball in your hand. So that way you have a little bit more um, advantage as far as that goes. But I, I just found myself just not wanting to do that because you, you have to play one blue for boo you have to play one uh, energy for crisis goku um a fauna spirit you can play another one to get out of the goten if you burst it out like it, it just didn't make any sense to me because the turn one is crisis crusher turn two is couple time and then turn three is everything else so you really want to draw as much as you can for free before you be uh before you're able to pay for anything else and it just kind of slows everything down so i don't i don't really recommend it um and then two Dragon Radar to get Fauna Spirit back, Personal Ambition, to draw two, to uh, get Child's Wish in order to play Dwellmas. 
it does a lot for you. It, is, it, just, it just helps consistency. Two of them is good because you're already playing a good amount of extra cards. And the thing about the extra cards is that you have to play them early on in order to get them, uh, get, get value out of them uh, and don't clog up your hand, basically. That's that's the biggest thing here. So you have to play Child's Wish out to get the bonus and get the value for it because on defense, they're just going to be useless. Um, the personal ambitions you want to draw and then you get them back for Dragon Radar. So you, you kind of get what I'm saying. Now, the sideboard is kind of a sideboard, not really, but these are, are like this one and as well as the next deck I'm going to be going through. Um, they're really just ideas for the sideboard, right? The Harmonic Energy Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is really just for uh, Veku. So if you're playing against Veku and you can't get around uh, the untapping and you kind of want to get around that untapping. And by the way, I don't think Veku and as well as Borgos and Whis uh, really hurt the deck. What you really need to do is is focus on setting up your board first as long as they don't remove it and then go into three to four energy and i, I would recommend four energy and then start untapping things because one energy if they blow up one energy that's not a big deal you can then go ahead and just go off on three energy there's not it's not too much of, a, uh, of a, a huge issue you just got to play it right in order to get to that um, but the second game, you definitely want to have the Harmonic Energy if, if you're playing against Gogeta or that Veku and as well as um, the FR Goku. Those are the two main targets. Now, a lot of people might be asking why I might not be playing uh, Preface instead of the Raging Spirit Kung Gohan. Sun Gohan is because um, early on you, you, you want to be defensive um, and you might have an energy open after playing a Boo or a Crisis Crusher on turn two. So after you do that, is that um, you just have an extra um, an extra energy for the Raging Spirit early on and Nende is a little susceptible to it. And you need to make sure to protect your life so that way you can attack as many times for Goten. That's kind of the idea behind it. Preface does the same thing as Bulma, it's just that he has he has barrier and he doesn't draw. So those are the kind of the trade-off for it. The 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 three drop sixteen is there because of a child's was target. So if you're going against Super Shenron, if you're going against things that you know you can't remove outside of a boo, like uh, I wouldn't recommend using Kid Goku. I, I'm, I'm gonna let you know that this is, has a pretty okay matchup against Kid Goku because of Crisis Crusher and as well as um, just the the early on oppression. Kid Goku draws quite a lot in its mid range curve, so when it, it kind of goes off. Uh, turn three to late four and five. So if you if you kind of prevent that and put enough pressure and dwindle down their hand early on, Kid Goku is not that big of an issue. What I'm really going through for uh, 16 is that you use him as a, um, a a revenge blocker, which I recommend for any any uh, wish deck uh, that plays Bean as well. You challenge wish him out, and then you have a a, a, a again 15. 50k revenge blocker and then you put a bean on him and then you just um, basically use your super combos and protect him and make sure to KO anything that they throw at you. Super Shenron dies to that like for, for sure for sure dies to that no matter what they have to expend their hand they would have to uh, pass turn it, it's just it's just not great for them and the same thing kind of goes with um, the uh, Broly matchup I, again it really ha already has one and if they're playing the the KO Broly's it's just gonna get KO'd so I, I wouldn't rec recommend this side that in uh, one more battery ring laser because that's just you know it's just really good <laughs> Crusher Ball for any of the matchups that you need Crusher Ball uh, self-explanatory flying Nimbus one announcer so the one announcer so the counter effect doesn't work but the draw to effect does so if you're going against something that's like a little bit of hand destruction this could be a good card you can replace it with a Tau instead you know, this is just, again, just ideas thrown out there. The Crisis Crusher is just to, to get more consistent on that. If you know you'll be playing against something like uh, that plays a lot of one-drops or the Brogors and Whis. And the Haru Haru is just amazing if they are a green or yellow leader and they tapped out for preemptive and as well as Cold Blood Less. So if they already use their Cold Blood Less on Explorer Bulma and you paid for it and then you have another Child's Wish in hand or if you get another one, that is, you can use leader and untap for. So it's just a critical 15 k -er. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It's just really good. Uh, it fits really well with the deck. You just don't mill out like Super Shenron. Uh, that is pretty much the deck. I really wanted to go through it. Um, most of the stuff is, like I said, is familiar, but the, the, the interaction between font, scuffle time, and all the other stuff really makes this a really aggressive deck. And I think, uh, again, if Super Shenron wasn't around uh, in the Storm slash uh, aggro variant, this would take over, most likely. And this is why... When uh, we're, we're talking about, and this is, I'm just touching on it, this is why when we're talking about the ban list slash errata slash restrictions, it is why 
Child's Wish and as well as uh, Explorer Boma makes this deck go, right? But the other thing is that we still have options in Scuffle Time, but the difference is, is that you have to pay in order to get that. The reason why Broly is the way he is and beatable is because you have to pay in order to, 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 to actually do your plays, right? This is beatable, beatable because if you dwindle down their life early on and they don't defend uh, as much as possible and you take away Explorer Bowman or if he's only at one and you take away at Child's Wish, he's only at one, you only have these three. And yes, these are really good cards, but you have to pay and make sure you have that set up, right? So I think the, uh, the if this was the only thing in Bulma and as well as Child's Wish and Super Shadow were hit, it would be perfectly fine. And this would be a much more fair deck regarding an aggro slash storm sort of idea. That is my opinion on that. Let's get to the gameplay. All right, here we go. So uh, I open up with a few different things. It took away the, uh, what should we call it? The Mira and kept the Raging Spirit Sun Gohan because I know that he attacks uh, 15K on his side because uh, I figured it'd be nice to get, a, to get something on the board pretty early on. And I figured it, also I didn't want to charge my boo. So I was just like, well, I guess I'm charging the Gohan. <laughs> and unfortunately, um, this is one of those times where it's, it's kind of annoying in order to, or annoying to get two balls in the life, but I kept drawing into the balls. So I was just like, you know what? This isn't so bad. <laughs> so I get to turn to awaken uh, the next turn, which is great. And uh, I went again and just go ahead and play the boo and pass turn. Because now I have a Yamcha in hand. I have a Bulma in hand, and I also have a Super Combo and, and Dragon Radar. So I, I think this is looking pretty good for me. Right now he's uh, swinging 15 into my leader, uh, to my 10, and now he plays Planet. I use the Super Combo because I, I wanted to get the draw. Uh, it is, again, another uh, Fauna Spirit target, so I can always get it back. And I did go and draw another one, uh, or a Fauna Spirit, that is. And um, you want to protect your life as much as possible. It's already bad enough that I have to... Um, go ahead and uh, take two life, but it is what it is because now I get to uh, use the Child's Wish, untap to draw one, and then flip over a leader uh, and get the Child's Wish back because uh, I, I can go ahead and use that a, a little bit more, a little bit more if you know what I'm saying. Um, so I was just thinking, I was just like, how should I approach this? So I'm gonna go ahead and sw uh, start swinging with the Abelmas. And uh, no, neg uh, no negates, no combos. Went ahead and swung with the boo because I, I know that he's just he's he's gonna survive next turn. And as well as I have another one in hand, so if even if he do doesn't survive, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so I, I went ahead and got another explode Bulma on board. Drew into the uh, the uh, personal ambition. So now I went ahead and swung with the Goten. I keep saying Yamcha. So if I say Yamcha, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then uh, it's just 10 to 10, not big of a deal. He, he went ahead and uh, comboed out of that, untapped the blue because I now have two beans. I can I can really start going off here, but it, just considering everything, I, I don't know if I want to. Um, he may be a, uh, you know, he might be awakening next turn too. So I went ahead and comboed out the Yamcha just in case it, it gives him an easy way out basically. Um, so I, I went ahead and used Fauna Spirit for free, uh, and then <laughs> unfortunately the super combo got put underneath it <laughs> and swung into leader. I'm gonna, I meant to shout out Rich, Rich Biscuit. So if you if you if you're watching this, my bad. Uh, I was only gonna shout you out if I if I won the tourney, so I didn't. <laughs> I went ahead and uh, untapped that, and as well as Goten, and draw one. Looks like I got another Explorer Boma, which I'm going to go ahead and get, I think, a ball and a Child's Wish. Pretty sure. Yeah, Child's Wish. And then a ball. So I get to use Child's Wish later on, and then the ball later on. Or right now, that is. Now I got two um, Gotens, because <laughs> I wanted to say Yamcha, swinging at 20,000, wishing I had a... Um, a uh, double striker. So he went ahead and used a super combo and as well as some battle card. Yeah, the Vegito. Uh, so went ahead and pass. 
So I swung one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times in one turn, and now I have five battle cards. The, the, the deck is wild, but the, the reason why this is a little bit more fair than Super Shenron is because you have to take life for it. Yes, the Storm variation with uh, Bardock, eh, you know, it's a little bit better, a little, 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 more, uh, little more comparable, you know. But now he's going to go ahead and use the Goku, drop a card, and then uh, summon out the Vegeta. I don't think it was this one, but I think I, I played, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I played him in which, uh, it was, a, well, a similar deck. I don't think it was him, but I played, I, I played against this and I, uh, I used Shocking Death Ball on the Goku and, uh, uh, the issue was that he, he couldn't play anything else and, uh, Vegeta was in rest. So that was just like a, a super hard counter for that. Um, so that was kind of funny. If you ever needed some, uh, advice on that, that is. So now he's going to go ahead and draw two from the Vegito. Play another planet out. So that way he can get some value out of this. He played well. I, I, I honestly, I, I feel like, you know, with what he had, I, I think he played pretty well. So now he's going to start clearing my board. And now, since he tapped that energy, he's going to go ahead and take that back. Place the blue, which is the Vegito, which is probably the best thing to do here. Now I have the super combo in my drop. And as well as the Yamcha. So I can go ahead and font him out using a uh, font or at least the Dragon Radar. And he's gonna keep attacking my stuff. And he's gonna pay two and play the Vegito. The candy one, that is. Swinging into my Explorer Burma. I was thinking about uh, saving one of them, but I was just like, nah, he's, he has another attack, so there's no point in that. I'm gonna go ahead and draw off that Vegito, and again, I, I really like the the blue variant. I, I think it's more of a, a little bit more control, a little bit more, a little bit more draw. But I, I think if, as long as you play this one right, you can do a lot of uh, a lot of cool things, a lot of degener de de degenerate degenerate things, degenerate things. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, probably play a blue. I didn't want to play the beans, so I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna play the uh, the Yamcha. I don't think I'm gonna see myself. Um, Hard casting it, so you don't have to actually play the Explorer Boma, by the way, uh, with Child's Wish. You can always play the uh, the Yamcha, and in my early variations, I actually didn't have that many Bulmas, so um, you know it, it became a problem as far as Child's Wish targets. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and play, I believe, the Boo, and uh, check my drop. So we're gonna go ahead and. Probably swing with Bulma and then bean her out So that way we can untap. Oh swing with leader and then bean a Bulma, I think If I remember this correctly, yep So we're going untap one so that way I have another energy for dragon radar and make sure I uh, I just I just keep with the energy open. That's that's the the biggest part here. So I had to really think about this one So I'll untap the uh, yellow. So I can get, I believe, a Fauna Spirit and as well as a Child's Wish. And hopefully play the Fauna Spirit sometime or another. Oh, okay. I'm going to combo out the Explorer Boma and then play out Child's Wish right after that. Get another attacker and then play out Fauna Spirit. We went ahead and took that life. And probably not looking the best. Went ahead and t uh, untapped that one, so that's pretty good. Now that I have a fun spirit, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and swing, bean her up. So now I have two fun spirits. You know, you, you really have to think about um, the uh, the amount of life that you have in, in correlation to uh, how many yam or yam just go tens you want to play. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that. Unfortunately, got the Kai out. Thanks, deck. You're the best. <laughs> Um, you know what? Bean is actually not a bad idea here. I probably should have beaned here because when you untap him, he heaps to 5k. So it's really not that bad of a idea. I went ahead and got the mirror here. So I'm just keeping attacking. Keep, keep, keep on attacking. So I'm finding spirit out one more again because I do have three life and that means uh, I can keep it, keep it going. So I went and swung. I think I've been here. Pretty sure. Yep, there it is. So it's 15, and then the other swing, which I hope I remember, is going to be uh, 25. 
I'm gonna go ahead and shake shake. And now I drew into another Goten, which I'm gonna go ahead and play probably hard cast. I was like, yeah, we're going in. <laughs> we're going in because I have another attack, so. Uh, I was thinking about bad ranking here, but I was just like, nah. Because now he's at one. And what you want to do here is is really just making sure to have, uh, well, I can't bad ring because I, I didn't have another yellow, by the way. So now you want to you make sure you have everything in hand. And what you need in hand right now is uh, another yellow uh, for the bad ring, which I did draw into right there. Got the nuts. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack a couple more times so that way I can reduce his hand, even though I know, like, I know for sure that I have game here. It's just, it's just no, no, uh, <laughs> no doubt about that. And I think a lot of this, wow, he beamed twice. <laughs> this man beamed twice. And I, I, I completely forgot about it when he did it. Because I, I, I comboed out here, I think. I only, I thought he had only had one beam, but I was just like, uh, 20. I was just like, I'm an idiot. But it also does help me because I have another one uh, in hand. I have a, what should we call it? I have a, uh, what should we call it? Oh, mirror in hand. Sorry. <laughs> I, that was a brain fart. So I went ahead and drew, drew two, untapped that energy. And now I'm going to go ahead and swing with Mira and uh, go ahead and battering his last uh, his last counter. So it was pretty funny that uh, I, I got that one off of him. <laughs> He's just laughing it off. Um, yeah, great game. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome deck. Uh, like I said, it's it's just this the other version, the blue version of Super Center on Storm, and uh, I, I really do enjoy it. Um, this is probably you know the the equivalent of the blue yellow instead of the mono yellow. It, it, this 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 is just my more of my nature. Again, try out the Vegito uh, variant with other people and uh, as well as Sensu Pops. Um, and uh, let me know what you think in the, in the comments below if you think this is worse, better, or even on the same level as Super Shenron or anything else in the comments below. And subscribe if you're new as well. I'll see you in the next one. Later.